Hi, this is Ed from Wright. Today we're going to talk about the details of the hydro system on the ZXT. This machine has a very capable hydro system because it's a big mower. We can carry a bagging system with up to a 72 inch cutter deck on it and we have 24 by 14 inch tires and so that creates a lot of torque. So first off I like to start with the wheel motor because the wheel motor it's like a differential in a truck. The, the wheel motor is going to determine how much torque or pressure is being applied to the pump upstream. We have an 18 cubic inch wheel motor on this mower, which means that when 18 cubic inches of oil flows through this pump, it makes one revolution of the axle down here. Now, this is a piston pump. The, one of the great things we like about this wheel motor is it mounts to the wall, so it's a very clean installation. It's easy to remove or service, and it has a wet disc brake in there, so you see no external brake on this wheel motor. Um, now, it's also a piston wheel motor. If you look at this right here, this looks a lot like what you'd see in a pump. And those little pistons, as they go around the circle, they go, they rise and fall, and it's what makes this spin. This spins around 3,000 RPM, so it's a high-speed um, motor that has a gear reduction in it. And this makes the machine very responsive at low speed, so you're going around a mulch bed or a tree or a fence post. It gives you a lot of response and very, uh, very good accuracy in the controls. Um, now, this little gear will spin like 3,000 RPM-ish, and what that does is it spins this ring gear, this internal ring gear. And when this ring gear spins, it drives this planetary reduction. So there's these planet, planets and a, a ring and a sun, and that drives the axle. So we get a, a really good uh, gear reduction. It's giving us that torque and that sensitivity we want in the controls. It also has a very large ball bearing in here, whereas your typical your roller motors have a very short needle bearing, a very short axle. So we have a heavy duty ball bearing in here. We have a very large axle that helps us with offset axle loads with these big tires or duals on there. That becomes important. Now, um, it also has a wet disc brake. So you can see this little disc right here and this brake that clamps it. You can see it's not a very big brake, but because this is on the high speed end, it only needs to barely pinch this to lock up the whole wheel drive. And so um, that's a maintenance free brake and it works really well. This is the, uh, the bearing for the other end of the axle. Now, the other thing the wheel, this wheel motor does for us is it holds about two quarts of oil and we actually flow the oil through the system. So here we have the high pressure lines going to the pump to power it. On the bottom, we have a hose that feeds the oil filter, which you can see is right under there. And um, that feeds into the pump's charge system and um, the dump comes back here and then we have a hose that goes up to the reservoir. So we're holding about two quarts of oil in here and um, that helps extend the life of the system, gives us more cooling down here, more exposure on these parts. Now, the pump itself, you can see the RTN on the side. From the top, you can see that it has a fan cooling it. Um, that's a 16cc hydro gear pump. Um, it's a very solid pump. We use it on a number of different models. And to service it, if you lower the deck all the way down, the pump comes out the front. Now, we're going to walk around to the hydro tank. You can see here, there's two reservoirs. So the right and left system are completely independent of each other. So there's no chance of cross-contamination in the system. And it's a total of four quarts per side. So for example, um, this tank is for the right side of the machine. You can see right here, right and left, and the details. You can see the right tank hold, the, it's a total system capacity of eight quarts, four per side. Now the four that's on the right hand side, it's two quarts in here and about two quarts that are in the wheel motor and that makes up this four and this four. Now that's significantly more oil than most hydro systems and that's one of the reasons why we're getting to a thousand hours. The other reason we're getting to a thousand hour maintenance interval on the system is that um, we're running low pressure. That 18 cubic inch wheel motor, it's like having a very high ratio in the rear end of your differential. It means that there isn't a lot of oil pressure and it's oil pressure that creates the heat. And so um, that helps extend the life of the machine but also the oil change interval. The other thing is that we just have a lot of cooling surface area. We have large tanks, we've got the fans, 
we've got the wheel motor body down there, a big aluminum body that's letting off heat. So we're managing the temperature very well with the system. Um, and so that's giving us the uh, long maintenance interval. Now, also on this side here, you can see the sight glasses. So those are visual. You can check them and see your oil level. Uh, you wanna be sure it's not running low, obviously. Um, and also by using the metal tanks, um, we don't have to use plastic reservoirs, overflow reservoirs. We're actually flowing oil through these larger tanks. And it's a more robust setup. And that's really what puts this, one of the things that puts this machine um, in, a, in a bigger class. So that's a walk through the hydro system. I've always felt that every mower should be very responsive in, in how, you, uh, how the controls respond. This machine goes 13 mile, uh, around 13 miles an hour. There are mowers that go faster. And our point wasn't to try to go as fast as possible. What we wanted was a mowing machine that had very good responsiveness when you're going around obstacles, when you're going up slopes or hills or these different types of things. It's really a driver's machine. And so we used large displacement um, with high flow and it gave us a lot of those features and the extended maintenance interval. Also, I'll note that this hydro system is fairly similar to what's in a ZK. There's a couple nuances that are different here. The, the biggest would be that um, this wheel motor here is an 18 cubic inch wheel motor and the one on the ZK, it's the same body, same, almost all the same parts, but the piston group here on the ZK is a 15, makes it for a 15 cubic inch wheel motor instead of 18 cubic inch wheel motor. And part of that's the difference between 24 and 26 inch tires, just creating more torque. And this is also a heavier machine with bagging and all that. Um, so this is a very similar layout to what we have on the ZK. Um, so that's the hydro system in a nutshell. Hopefully this is helpful to you. By all means, if you have any questions, put them in the comments and we'd be glad to catch up.